We're here today with Matthew LaRouche, who's the product manager of camera interfaces and frame grabbers here at Matrox Imaging. Today, Matthew is going to take us through the new Matrox FDK or FPGA development kit. Thanks so much for speaking with me today. Happy to be here, Katia. So the Matrox FDK is tied to the Matrox for Pixo CXP Pro board, making this add-on board really more than just a frame grabber. So tell me, Matsu, why is onboard processing useful? The Matrox for Pixo CXP Pro uses an FPGA device to implement the Coax Express camera interface standard. Since this FPGA is in the acquisition path, it only makes sense to look at using it to offload some operation from the O system CPU. The Matrox FDK is what allows one to implement custom image processing on a Rapixo CXP Pro board. Okay, interesting. And can you tell us more about what's inside this FDK and what someone can actually do with it? First, the FDK comes with pre-made logic blocks for interacting with onboard functions and resources. This includes acquisition, memory controller, transfer units, and auxiliary I.O. This frees up the user to work on the core component, namely the custom image processing pipeline. A processing pipeline can assume different configurations. It can be composed of just a single processing unit, or it can consist of multiple cascading processing units. The processing units can also be arranged to work in parallel. A processing unit can come from different sources. It can be matrix developed, it can be based on third-party IP, our users can develop their own in C, C++. Ah, very insightful, thanks. Finally, can you give us some more information about how the Matrox FDK is used to develop a new processing unit? The first step is to implement the algorithm in HLS code using C or C++. Matrox Imaging provides documentation and several examples to help with this. Once this is done, the algorithm can be synthesized into an IP block or processing unit using Vivado HLS. From there, it's really easy to integrate one or many processing units using Vivado IP integrator and generate the bitstream for the Repixel CXP Pro. The custom bitstream is then accessed and controlled from the user's application. It's self-developed using the MIL or MIL Lite software development kit. All right, great. Thank you so much for speaking with me, Matsir. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Katia.